A person's lung capacity can be modeled by the function C of t equal to 250 sine 2 pi over 5t plus 2450, where C of t represents the volume in milliliters present in the lungs after t seconds. State the maximum value of this function over, the one, over one full cycle and explain what this value represents. So C of t here is a sine function, and uh, there are some... Uh, uh, there's an amplitude of 250 with a frequency of 2 pi over 5 and a midline of 2450. So I'm just going to make a sketch of this. So I am going to represent the midline in blue. And I am going to draw my graph in black. Uh, and because it's a sine function, it's going to start at the midline and then go up and down and then up and down and so on and so forth. Okay. And um, the amplitude is 250. So that means this, I'm going to use green. So that means from the midline to the top, that's going to be 250. And the distance from the midline to the x-axis that's going to be 2450. The question here is, state the maximum value of this function over one full cycle and explain what this value means. So what this implies then is we're going to, so the maximum therefore is going to be 2450 plus 250. So the maximum therefore is going to be 2700. ML because, again, the uh, C of T function here is measured in milliliters, right? So because of that, I'm going to go back to red. The Y coordinates here are in milliliters. The X coordinates here are measured in seconds. So the lungs, okay, uh, will have a maximum capacity of 2700 milliliters. So the lungs will have a max capacity of 2700 milliliter per cycle. You can think of the cycle as maybe taking a breath, right? Inhaling and then exhaling, inhaling and exhaling. So as the graph goes up, we have inhale and then we have exhale. And then inhale and then exhale, right? So this is uh, exhale. And then here we have inhale something to that effect.